Welcome back Skulkers and welcome to the channel of Peekers. Today's video is about this. The old school hard drive. But anyway, this is an old one that I bought and it's basically, I bought this because there have been some people leaving comments and they're trying to be hateful and mean about them as well. On the video about the Media Hub, where I had this brand new unused uh, Samsung hard drive and like six inches away or eight inches away there was a magnetic tray that I was putting the screws on and they're like oh my god you got a magnet right next to a hard drive you're gonna kill it and uh, blah 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 first of all basically what happens is the magnetic field can make the ones the uh, the magnetic particles on the disc flip so that a one becomes a zero or a zero becomes a one and it corrupts the data. Well, the hard drive that I was using was brand new, hadn't even been formatted yet, but people were going crazy. And uh, one guy insisted that, hey, that magnet can still kill your drive even if you haven't used it yet. There's no data on it to lose. And number two, magnets do not kill hard drives. And I wanted, I wanted to demonstrate something today. This little bad boy, has magnets inside of it that are far more powerful than the magnet that was on that magnetic tray. And I'm gonna go, go ahead and open this up. I bought this from Micro Center. It's a used 40 gig Western digital hard drive. I paid $4 for this thing just so that I can do this video. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. This video is brought to you by you the viewer by using our product links in the video description or using our Amazon bookmark you help us make videos like this thank you okay so here we have the hard drive Let's turn it upside down. this is not easy to do in a mirrored view <laughs> okay so here we have the hard drive um, let's start on the back side. So here is the controller board. All right. So here we have the controller board. Basically, this is just a card that sits on the bottom of the drive. These are the connections. This is your SATA power. This is your SATA uh, data cable connection. And everything that it is controlled on the drive the cache buffer all that stuff is on this card They got everything covered up with this foam stuff. But there's a controller chip under there. And there we go. Don't worry, I bought this drive so for the sole purpose of destroying it. All right. Well, this is very, this is actually pretty easy to, uh, to show. Let me get it centered. All right, so this chip right here, that's the cache. That's a RAM chip right there. So when you have data coming in and going out, it'll store, it'll temporarily store it right there on that chip so that you don't have to actually wait for the uh, disk to run. Um, uh, but yeah, that's the controller card, controller chip. And, um, I'm not sure what that one does. But those things control the uh, hard drive itself, everything that goes on here. This one probably controls the actual head and uh, platters based on its location. These are the pins that control the, the spinning motor. So, let's go inside of it so you can see what's in there.
And this one only has, looks like it's a single platter. A single platter disc. Uh, a lot of these new drives, especially the ones like eight terabytes, have up to seven platters. This is a single platter, it's only 40 gigabytes. When you hear them spin up, that's the that's the part that spins up right there. Here's the magnetic head right here. It actually reads and writes to the disc. right here is a neon uh, how do you say neodymium magnet rare earth rare rare earth magnet far stronger far far stronger than anything that the magnetic trays have on them that's a super strong magnet field. and it was right here inside of the hard drive Look, there's another one right there. They have magnets inside of them. So getting a magnet close to a hard drive is not going to kill it. But a lot of people think that it will for some reason. There, yes, a magnetic field, a pulsing magnetic field can damage or corrupt your data. I guess a I guess a static a static magnet could do it as well, but it's very unlikely. But the thing that I'm trying to get to is that people were going nuts over a brand new unused hard drive because it got close to a magnet. That magnet didn't do anything to the hard drive. I guarantee it. It's not damaged. It's not dead. There's nothing wrong with it. Basically, what's happening? And you can kind of see yourself. Uh, but basically what's happening is these magnets uh, these magnets help the uh, the head move it's a linear motor I'm not sure what the principle is on that I couldn't tell you if I wanted to uh, but basically this coil right here this uh, wire I guess I shouldn't use wide open um, that coil right there creates a magnetic field that reacts with the magnetic fields of these other two magnets and it moves the motor, it moves the head in a linear fashion. And basically that, that uh, head sweeps across the disc to read the disc. Yes, yeah, so the head is magnetic, uh, it creates a magnetic field as well. But notice that these big, enormous, very strong magnets back here do not corrupt the data on the disk that is a mere inch away from it. Not only that, these are inside of a metal case. So, you shouldn't go nuts about putting a hard drive, especially an unused hard drive, next to the magnet. Um, if it was used and full of data, I wouldn't probably do it, but brand new hard drive, who cares? But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and do that. I'm going to probably use this as like desk decoration now uh, but if you have any questions or anything you have any suggestions recommendations you want to say anything you have any comments go ahead and leave those below uh, go ahead and hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one my name is Elemento and this is Technoscope